Your coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. It's a cool, clear night across North Alabama, but it's going to be downright chilly by tomorrow morning. Right now we're at 61 degrees in Gunnersville, 58 in Huntsville, 61 in Decatur, 63 in Muscle Shoals. Each location again seeing a clear sky, hardly any cloud cover for tonight, for tomorrow which means tons of sunshine for your Thursday, but not exactly warm temperatures. The Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network shows us this three radars, each one of them giving us a quiet picture from Muscle Shoals over to Decatur, over to Gunnersville tonight. I told you, downright chilly, 47 degrees. That's our forecast low. We keep it clear that wind out of the north northwest is what continues to bring in that cooler air, but the wind is starting to let up just a little bit. It'll be nearly calm by the time you wake up in the morning. So your bus stop forecast, Looks like this near 50 degrees heading off to school. By the time we get into the afternoon, our temperatures warming into the lower 70s and 71 degrees. Just for reference this time of year, it's almost 15 degrees below average for a high. So if it seems unseasonably cool, that's because it is. But we will be warming in the coming days. Gradually each afternoon will be a little bit warmer than the last future radar through the rest of tonight into tomorrow morning. Really not showing much of anything. A lot of cloud cover, no rain here as we continue all the way through tomorrow evening. There's five o'clock still not picking up any cloud cover through tomorrow night into Friday morning. This data source shows a few thin high clouds moving through maybe a little bit of patchy fog if the wind is light enough. And that's about it. It all sets the stage for really nice weather to close out the work week, to start the weekend, and pretty much perfect weather for Friday night football, if not just a touch on the chilly side. 60 degrees by 8 o'clock. Of course, kickoff will be in the mid 60s, and as the games are wrapping up, or at least moving into the fourth quarter, we'll be dropping into the upper 50s. So for Russell and Hartsell, our big game Friday night, I think we might need some blankets on those bleachers. And pretty soon we'll be seeing views like this. And say, seeing views, we'll be enjoying views, all these fall colors here. This was Fall in Mintone in 2019, Bob Phillips submitted this photo, kind of reminiscing there, in the Alabama The Beautiful Facebook group. That Facebook group has over 158,000 members. And if you would like to share your photos of landscapes, insects, animals, whatever it may be, whatever you're seeing around Alabama, we would like to see it too. Just use the hashtag ATBWAAY31. That way we'll know that you want to share with everyone else watching at home. Here's an update on Tropical Depression 18. So of course we still have to watch the tropics this time of year. Fortunately for us in North Alabama, this does not look like it's going to be an impact, but it is worth watching because it is going to be strengthening to a major hurricane by the beginning of next week. So seven day forecast for us. I was telling you earlier, about whether or not we have any rain in this forecast. Notice we don't have anything but sunshine for at least the next seven days. High pressures in control keeps things quiet near 80 degrees on Sunday, 81 on Monday. Overnight lows get out of the 40s. We'll be back into the lower 50s waking up on Saturday. You can always listen for your forecast news talk 770 AM 92.5 FM WVNN.